Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I do apologize in advance. I do have a big cockatoo. Believe it or not, I'm on a different floor from her, but if you do hear her screaming, um, it's that time of day when it's starting to get dark and she likes to scream, so I do apologize. Um, Gemini's, I have my Venus in Gemini, so this is going to be a reading as much for me as it is for you, um, or as much for you as it is for me. Um, this is going to be a Virgo full moon reading um, from March 9th when we have March 9th or March 10th, depending on where you are in the world, until April 7th when we have the full moon in Libra. This is a super moon. It has a very, very strong supportive nature. It's also very analytical like Virgo, you know, so make sure that, you know, you're analyzing things, but make sure you're not overanalyzing things and worrying too much. Um, shine a light on practical earthy matters that might have been suppressed in the winter months, things like diet and exercise and maybe even your budget. All right, so Gemini, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, uh, welcome to this reading. Um, I'm just going to ask that you guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment, share, ring that notification bell. But most of all, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support that you guys show this channel. And let's get into this. Cross watchers are welcome. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What messages, spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, and spirit guides do you have for Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs? Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. All right. Hmm. Lots of air in this reading. All right, Gemini. Okay. So your overall energy here is the King of Wands. This is um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and the King of Wands often gets a bad rap. He's usually the player in the in the tarot, um, but the King of Wands showing up in reverse is somebody who is not committing, um, is not following through on his responsibilities. Maybe somebody that made an investment and it was a really bad investment, or they tried to do something kind of dirty or do someone kind of dirty, and it backfired on them. Okay, the King of Wands is usually very good with money, but in the reverse, this is a loss of money or a reversal of fortune. And it's often because this person didn't plan or think things through. They were too impulsive, um, you know, and, and somebody who's also losing a bit of their passion. And they don't have any plan B or plan C in place, so they really crumble in the face of conflict or criticism. Underneath that, you do have the death card, which is Scorpio energy. And then you have the sun also, um, the sun in reverse. So again, somebody's not feeling that great, but there is a real transformation that needs to take place, okay? So it could be you in business, it could be you in a partnership, a love or family relationship or a romantic relationship, but we'll go ahead and get into this reading gems and see what's going on. So um, where you are in your life right now, this is beautiful. This is the six of wands. This is victory. This is people are supporting you. I think a lot of you are feeling really good about where you are in life, about maybe some of you have started a business and you're starting to see, you know, the profits or you're starting to see, you know, you're starting to win. You're starting to see and taste success. It could also be in your relationships. You could have gotten a promotion. You could have become, you know, hired as the CEO or as the boss. Okay, which is interesting because we do have this overall energy with the King of Wands, which is my CEO card. So then those might be your aspirations. It might just be wor it might be just a warning for you, or it might be a fear that you guys are carrying around. Okay, but I hope not. So the Six of Wands energy is about victory. It's about support. Um, you know, people thanking you for the work that you've done, being appreciative and grateful. You know, for all that you do. Now, um, how do you project yourself to the world or what's the truth of your relationships in your life? For some of you, okay, for some of you, this is so interesting. I'm getting, for some of you, the Six of Wands, you've been hired as a new boss or CEO or taking over a company or a business, 
Okay, and the way that people are seeing you, you're making you're making what you feel are necessary changes to make this business more successful. Okay, for some of you might be relationship coaches, some of you might be um, might be personal coaches, um, but I am getting that you've been hired sort of to make the decisions here and to you know set up a plan and create things. And people are seeing you as being extreme. You're saying you know the whole system needs an overhaul. Now this could be a personal spiritual journey as well. You could be like you know what I'm taking charge of my life and it's time to tear these walls down. I've been stuck. You know I've been anchored in negative energy or what I've been doing I haven't been successful and you're really really going for your success but this this energy here is that there's transformation and there's rebirth and maybe it's also the fact that you have to maybe you have to fire someone or maybe you have to you have to rework whatever this is. If it's a relationship, you might have to tear it down and build it back up from scratch. It might be a business. It might be your health routine. Okay. It might be your spiritual journey. It can be so many things. Okay. So this is interesting because I'm, people are seeing you as being, you know, as being pretty intense, making some really huge overhauls and changes. And for some of you, it has to do with a boss. Some of you might be board members and you might be saying, you know what, we've got to, you know, we've got to get the, you know, the CEO out, or we have to get, you know, the president of this company out. Okay. Because he's, you know, he's effing stuff up or, you know, and people might see it as quite extreme, but you see it as the only way to move forward. Okay, it might be that you have to kick somebody out of your home or out of your life, okay, in order to get the victory that you need. Now, this, um, what's blocking you, your desires and your goals, this is the Knight of Swords. This could be another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius person, or it could be a part of you. Now, there's a warning here, you know, and I think this warning is for those of you who are being extreme or taking extreme measures, you know, that make sure that you're doing it right, that you're communicating clearly, that you're standing in your truth, that you're being fair. Because when the Knight of Swords is in reverse, he's really quite violent. He's like giving everybody the ax, and spirit is here. These two cards are really, really extreme. And I feel like some of you might have taken over a business and you just went in and overhauled it. And spirit is saying, just do be careful there with this. Okay. Make sure that you're not doing it just to do it. You know, make sure that you're looking at each person that you're dealing with as an individual and that you're not just swinging that ax or that sword wildly. Okay. Or you could feel like you're up against a CEO who is doing that and you could be worried about your security. Again, it could be in a personal relationship as well. Somebody who's being very narcissistic, somebody who doesn't really know up from down, but they're just taking shots or pot shots at you, um, you know, or just somebody who's out of control, maybe even confused. So what you need to do to overcome these obstacles, this is the five of swords. There's so much conflict in this Gemini. Um, the five of swords is like, you really need to make sure that, you know, there are no empty victories. Make sure that the victories that you are, the successes and the victories that you are having aren't, um, aren't out of revenge and aren't empty that you have someone to share them with. Okay. And that you're not totally alienating yourself for others. You're dealing with this energy and spirits like some, and in some case you have to fight fire with fire, but it might be time for you to walk away because look, you can see this person, he's picking up his two swords. He's taking what's his and he's running off. Okay. So do, you know, Please let me know how this is resonating with you because I'm not accusing my gems out there of being this narcissist, you know, a-hole in this reading, but it really might be somebody that you are dealing with. It could also be the way people are perceiving you because you need to, you know, you really need to apply tough love to this situation. And I feel like people might not understand you. Okay. So I'm, I'm getting sort of these two, two storylines coming in through here. Um, what you can do within in order to help achieve those desires. <laughs> this is to show gratitude. Um, this is one of the happiest cards in the deck next to the sun. Um, this is an 1111 card. So for some of you, you might be dealing with a soulmate relationship. For others of you, this is breaking a contract. So you might have a verbal or written contract with someone. If they're not treating you right, if they're being violent, abusive, and I'm getting that this is more at work, although it could be in a personal relationship, spirit saying, you know, this, you, you got to walk away from this. You, even if you have a contract, it's time to break that contract. 
Okay, um, it, I mean, obviously it's time to really think things through. Um, you are coming out here with the commitment card, but I think it might be time, you know, remember it's after Mercury retrograde and this reading starts when Mercury is stationing direct on the 9th. So we'll still be in the shadow period and then like the last two weeks of this reading, it might be time to rework a contract that you're in, okay? Whether that's a verbal contract with a, a partner, a romantic partner with family members, or if it's at work, because it's kind of like, like, you know, you do not need to put up with abuse, Gemini, okay? If somebody is abusing you literally or metaphorically or at work or at home, there's no need to put up with that, okay? What you can do to learn from the outside world or others to help you manifest your goals and desires, take your time to make a decision. But you can see she has the blindfold off. Try to see through the illusions. Try to see where this other person or this whatever the situation involves, where they're coming from, okay? Because oftentimes when somebody is sort of critical or rude with us, we have a tendency to react. So make sure you're just not reacting to whatever this person is putting out and that you're seeing the situation objectively because your objectivity is what's going to is going to be, you know, your biggest weapon here, Gemini, okay? Your projected outcome, this is the Hierophant, this is Taurus energy, this is spirituality, this is commitment, this is a brand new contract. So for some of you, you know, it could be in a relationship and you were with somebody and, you know, the boundaries weren't set properly, um, you know, you, you know, that your expectations of what you wanted or needed in this relationship, whether it be romantic or at work or within your family, you know, they just weren't being met and it all needs to be reworked and people are seeing you as quite extreme or you're seeing someone else as quite extreme. Okay, it can also be this five of swords can be somebody who didn't deal well with things in the past and they're rectifying their behavior or they're, you know, um, or they're course correcting. Okay, but for a lot of you, I feel like it's time for you to walk away from all this BS, okay, and stand up for yourself, okay? Try to be as objective as possible. And if you feel like a lot of times we feel really loyal to someone or something, and we're like, well, I do have a, you know, maybe it's a landlord or something. I have a lease. I don't want to break my lease. But if somebody is making your life miserable, and if it's, I'm getting for some of you, it might be affecting you, like it might be, you're, you might get stomach aches or ulcers or migraines or something like that, uh-uh, it's time to say like, you know, out of here, right? So do like make sure that you're, you're taking a really objective point of view here, okay, my dearest gems? Here you have community. So this is important, relying on your friends and family. Again, I also feel like at work, you know, this is people around the water cooler might be, again, if you've taken over or you've stepped in as in a new management role and you're taking, you know, a really tough nuts approach to this, whatever, like, you know, people being late to work and you're, you know, you're writing them up or you're firing people where, you know, they were getting away with something before that is no longer acceptable. I feel like there might be a lot of gossip surrounding this situation. Um, but also I, I feel like this is sort of a tough time. So do, you know, rely on your friends and family and keep your cards close to your chest. Don't tell everybody what's going on. Number two, this is a journey. I love this, you know, so um, this person here is alone. So I do feel like you have to make a lot of decisions and that sort of that sort of fits with, you know, the CEO card and with this victory card, you know, a good ruler doesn't have tons and tons of advisors. You know, he can't listen to everyone's point of view, although he can listen to everyone's point of view, but he can't let that cloud his vision or his judgment. Okay. And so I do see that this is something that you have to do alone. All right. And again, some of you might be, have your own business, might be in management, uh, might be CEOs, might be on a board or something along those lines. Okay. And you get 44, a woman holding a heart. So this is something you're very passionate about. It may involve loved ones. Again, it could be a romantic relationship. It could be your family. It could just be a work, you know, a job or a career that you've invested a lot into and that you're really, really passionate about. And then you get angel of balance and spirit saying the best thing to do here is to find balance. And you see that with the two of swords energy. Excuse me, Lib um, Libra. Sorry, Gemini. I don't know why I just said Libra, but Gemini, you know, um, you know, finding this balance, finding a balanced perspective, make sure that, you know, I feel like there's a lot of gossip and there's like, especially with this 
Knight of Swords energy. I'm really picking up on like things are getting out of control. People might be swearing. There might be arguments, discussions. And I think people are kind of losing sight of actually what's happening. So it's like asking Gemini for you to be sort of the GPS in this situation. Don't lose or cloud. Get Let your, your judgment be clouded. Don't take your eye off the prize. You have... You had a plan. I feel like you had a plan. Stick to it. Okay. And then you get Canary Spirit. Sing your own song. Yeah. So I'm getting like a lot of solitude here. Again, I think what you're doing here, especially if you're taking over like a business or a job or you're putting your foot down in a relationship or maybe even in a family or something, there might be kids involved or a blended family. You know, like you're the leader. Like you can't take, it's not, it cannot be a complete democracy is what I'm saying. And you have to really, you know, if your plan is a good one, you need to stick to it. Okay. And you can't let the fact that other people, you know, are, you know, feeling sore or angry or, um, you know, or offended. Okay. By the fact that you're setting boundaries and, and setting rules and, and upholding those rules. Okay. And that's what I'm getting here with sing your own song and that journey card as well. And then you get armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries. Is that not what I was just saying? Whoa. <laughs> I love that confirmation. So yeah, gems, I feel like you're setting boundaries and maybe you hadn't been setting boundaries before with this person or with these people. I, I do get more than anything. It's dealing with groups of people. Oops, sorry, as I slobber all over. Um, but yeah, it's time to set healthy boundaries. And I think people may, might be a little bit spoiled. Okay, they might not like you setting these healthy boundaries. They're used to maybe people being more lenient, bending backwards, but that clearly wasn't working. Okay, and that's why you've come along. Queen of the light, illumination, enlightenment, and celebration. I love that. Number 15 breaks down to a six. Again, I, I just want you to, I think you're really shedding light on this situation, on what wasn't working, and that's why you're setting these new boundaries. And I think that, you know, once sort of the dust settles and once people stop reacting to the new rules or the, this person stops reacting to the new rules, um, because I feel like at first they're like, oh, I'm going to quit or I'm leaving and sort of all blustery. And I think then, you know, I think with your conscious effort, a good plan and being consistent, Gemini, that you're going to, that, you know, people are going to, you know, feel enlightened and then eventually thank you for it. Okay. And then you get the web weaver, synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effect. Yeah. So, Ooh, the tangled web we weave, but I do feel like, you know, you're, you are divinely guided. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that you're receiving. Okay. At this time, but also, you know, I think that you're being very logical here. I mean, I feel like, you know, things were pretty messed up things. You're untangling that mess, whether this is in a job or whether this is in a personal relationship. Okay. Whether this is with a group of people, like it got out of hand and nobody was really taking the lead. This King of Wands in reverse definitely wasn't taking the lead, you know, wanted to just run because everything got a little too hairy and a little bit too crazy. And gem, I, the gems out there who are listening, I feel like you guys stepped up. Okay, and you're like, look, certain things have to happen to get this ship running again, you know, to make this business successful, to make this relationship work, you know, to make this household function, you know, so that we can all live together in harmony and in peace. So I'm getting like a lot of different messages here, but I do get Gemini's that you guys are in some sort of leadership role. Okay, and then you get Kali, endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that, the, so that the new can enter. Yes, okay, and Gemini, I feel like that's what you guys are doing. All right, you guys are making big changes, and we see that with, the, with that tower card. And yes, I think some people's feathers are getting ruffled, but Spirit's saying, Gemini, if this is a good, solid plan, and if this is what's best for the, you know, for the whole tribe or for everyone involved, then this is what's got to happen. You know, and it's kind of like a tough love approach I'm getting. All right, you guys, I love you so much. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment, share, ring that notification bell. But most of all, I want to thank you guys for listening. All the love and support you show this channel. And I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.